Well, a doctor found guilty here in Lubbock for capital murder back in 2015 is now facing a third murder trial. This comes after a court of appeals there in Amarillo reversed the verdict and have now requested the new trial. Courtney Frum joins us now. Courtney, why is a new trial being considered and what do prosecutors here in Lubbock have to say about it? Terry, this is a story we've been following since 2012 when local doctor Joseph Saunier was murdered. Dr. Thomas Dixon was found guilty of two charges of capital murder for the July 2012 shooting that took the life of Dr. Saunier. The man who killed Saunier, David Shepard, told police he was hired by Dixon to kill Saunier. This was a who done it, and we had two people in jail for it, the two people who committed the offense within five days. That's pretty dang good work. Now, Hitman Shepard pled guilty and is serving a life sentence without parole. Unintentionally, gun fired. I'm leaning in to see if he's okay. I fall in the window. I'm running around to see if he's okay to see what's going on. I said, Dr. Sonia, are you all right? Are you all right? I don't hear anything. Go in the garage. He's laying prone. I hear his last breath. I reach down. There's no pulse. But Dixon is continuing to say he didn't ask for Sonia to be killed and that he thought Shepard was just placing cameras in the home. We're uh, looking forward to the court's decision and optimistic about uh, eventually reversing this wrongful conviction. There are real sociopaths and psychopaths that walk amongst us. They are charming. They sit at the dinner table with you and your children, and sometimes they sleep in your bed with you. They're not capable of feeling love for you or empathy for anyone. When you see that, don't ignore it. Get out as fast as you can. Now, according to the documents filed in the appeals court, Dixon is claiming there were two major issues with his 2015 trial. First, he is claiming there was no search warrant for cell phone records. Due to a recent Supreme Court ruling, the record should be inadmissible due to retroactive change in the Constitution. Dixon is also claiming that the trial was closed off to the public without proper justification. We don't have him to guide us through this now, but, but we still have that lesson that he gave us that we can't let something like this destroy our lives, that, that we have to just keep going and, and keep living in spite of it. Now, former DA Matt Powell says the ruling will further be appealed. Now, Courtney, I have to ask, you know, this has been a long time in the making. Do you, what was the amount that Shepard took from Dixon to commit the crime? Now, according to Shepard's testimony, he received two silver bars totaling around $6,000 in order to do so. Terry? All right, thanks, Courtney. Of course, we'll keep you updated on this case. The Department of